What took you so long, pal? Mr. Edgeworth couldn't stick around forever and had to go. Well, what happened? We got him. We know who bought that spy camera. Eh? This quickly? And this bear is what gave them away, pal. The bear? I figured it out, pal. I figured that we should have been looking into the bear instead of the camera. Um, but wasn't it Mr. Edgeworth that... Shh, pearls. And go on. There's only one person who bought one of those bears who's related to this crime. Who is it? Who would be so rude as to spy on another person in their room? Not in guard. Huh? Not in guard. Your client, that's who, pal. And here I thought things couldn't get any worse. Stuffed bear. Are you sure you heard right? That person who bought this bear was... I heard it from the department store clerk, pal. This is the credit card received for the purchase. It's for 3800 pal. That's an exact match to the price of that stuffed bear. A receipt? That's all you have? Nah, it's not just the receipt, pal. The store clerk said so himself. He told me I'm sure I sold that bear to Mr. Engard. I mean, the clerk even got Mr. Engard's autograph out of it, pal. So I'm sure the person that bought the stuffed bear was Mr. Engard himself. My sight is failing me. This can't be. Credit card receipt. And the spy camera. So what about the spy camera we found? Uh, th that was a dead end, pal. I mean, you can get this kind of thing from anywhere. But for now, I guess I can give these back to you to file away into evidence. I know you don't want to give up, pal. I never thought... I didn't think it was possible. The person who put the spy camera in Juan Carita's room was Matt and Guard. Why? Why would Mr. Ingard do something like this? I bet it was to catch Miss Andrews and Mr. Carita in one of their rendezvous. I bet it's not good enough for me. I have to know the absolute truth behind this camera. Are you going to see him? Mr. Ingard, I mean. Yes. I'm... I'm scared, Mr. Nick. I wonder... I wonder what we'll find out next. I'm scared myself, but I have to put on a good face for pearls. Mad and guard, what in the world have you done? So I think... I didn't... I kind of... I didn't want to read too far into it. But I think now that we've done all this... We should be able to go back, yeah, we should be able to go back to the detention center and break Mattengard's locks, which I thought was a little early, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, we should be able to go do that now. Alright, let's move. You're working really late, you know? It's already past 10 p.m., dude. I think it's time you told me the truth. Relax, don't you know that ignorance is bliss? But if you really want to know, let's talk. Alright, let's talk indeed. Have you seen my badge? Could you please take a look at it? I know it may not seem important to you. Well, if it's not important, then I'd rather be in bed. If I don't get my 12 hours of beauty sleep, my skin's gonna wrinkle up like a prune, dude. You know, he's right, Mr. Nick. Your skin's kind of drying up here and there. I swear, after this case is over, I'm going to get lots and lots of sleep. Alright, let's go. That's a lot of locks. Matt's secret. Now, let's hear what this secret of yours is. What if Mr. Karina had been successful in this plan? What would he have disclosed? I told you before, dude, I don't know. I don't know anything about Juan, okay? Look, Mr. Wright, I can keep on saying it until I'm blue in the face, but... I totally didn't pay Juan any attention the whole time that night. I mean, come on, I was in the middle of a nap. Don't lie to me. 
Huh? I know you paid close attention to Mr. Karita, especially on that night. Okay. Um, I think the camera might be it. Someone used this camera to secretly film Mr. Karita's room the night of the murder. Secretly film? What? And then sent the images the camera took with this transmitter. Wow, but dude, where was this camera you're talking about hidden? <laughs> well, that would be the bear. The spy camera was hidden in this bear's eye. A bear that was supposed to be a present from a fan. Hmm. I guess Juan had a few of those kinds of fans too, huh, dude? Actually, I wouldn't say this bear was a present from a fan. Hmm, you sure, dude? Who else could it be from? The person who gave this bear to Mr. Karita was... Well... Oh, crap, no, I didn't mean that. Well, Mr. In Guard? Yeah, I didn't mean to click that. Hold on a second, I'm gonna ask my mom, okay? She says that I can't be friends with someone like you. Uh, go home. If you don't go away, I'm gonna call the police on you. I didn't... I actually didn't mean to present that one. Let me pull it back up really quick. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I thought right. So yeah, we need to present Matt and Guard as the um Take that! We need to present Matt and Guard as the person who gave him the bear, I guess. So we'll skip through this a little bit. Alright, so the camera and transmitter. And the bear. And the person, we gotta go to profiles. That would be Matt and Guard. Mr. and Guard, don't you know this bear from somewhere? I don't think I've ever met Mr. Bear before, dude. Ah, oh, but he says he knows you. How could you forget such a great friend? What else did the bear tell you? He says that the one who put the camera in his eye was you, Mr. In Guard. If I didn't know how you work in court, I think I was in some serious trouble. <laughs> True that. Come on, this is all a joke, right, dude? You're just pulling my leg. Looks like you're not ready to give up your secret yet. Well, do you have any proof you want to show me first? Here's proof that it was you who put the camera inside the bear. Okay. I believe the proof would be that we know he bought the bear. Take that! I have here one credit card receipt, Mr. In Guard. It's from when you bought that stuffed bear. Dude, all you can tell from this is that I spent $3,800. I go to that department store all the time, okay? This $3,800. This could be the toothbrush I bought that one time. A $3,800 toothbrush. It's ivory, and it's got elephant hair for bristles. Ew, elephant hair? Is that what rich people use nowadays? Anyway, the store clerk clearly remembers you and your purchase. After all, you even gave him an autograph, did you not? Dude... You should have said that earlier. Um, so, can I ask you one thing? Yes? You're my lawyer, right, dude? So if you are, then why are you looking into stuff like that? Because if I don't know the truth, I can't help you. Sounds more like stupid lawyer talk to me. Hey, let's stop talking about this, okay? No, not yet. I haven't asked why you set the camera up yet. And what your secret is, of course it would be stri strictly confidential. So, what are you going to do now? I'm going to find out what I want to know, because I must. The reason you hid this camera in Mr. Karita's room and filmed it in secret is... Alright, what would be the reason? Try to catch him in uh, some kind of act, right? 
Would it be the magazine clipping? Let me look this one up because I don't want to go over it again. Oh, interesting. You can present either Adrian Andrews' photo profile or the magazine clipping. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll go with the one I picked. Well, that's not what I wanted. Adrian Andrews? There's a rumor going around that Miss Andrews and Mr. Carita were having secret meetings. You, who was keeping tabs on Mr. Carita, you were going to reveal this as fact and turn it into a scandal. Isn't that right? Dude, you can be such a moron. Huh? Oh man, Mr. Lawyer, dude, that kind of scandal. That's the good stuff. That's what we in the industry call ju juicy. We call it juicy. The good stuff. Juicy? Look, we can get publicity without spending a penny with that kind of stuff. I mean, if people stop paying attention to us, then it'd be the end, dude. Too bad that wasn't your intention. What are you talking about, dude? I wish your reason for spying was something so innocent, but it wasn't. You didn't spy on Mr. Karita because of Miss Andrews. Then there's only one reason I can think of for you to do such a thing. The real reason you set up that camera in Mr. Karita's room was... Apparently, the picture card is the reason. I'm not exactly sure I would have figured that one out. What is this card? Maybe he doesn't know about this card. This is a certain man's calling card. The man's name is Shelly D. Killer. And I'm sure you know of him, don't you? Shelly D. Killer? That's ridiculous. Why would I know some shady scumbag like him? If you really don't know him, then why are you acting so jumpy all of a sudden? Uh, this is it. I'm finally starting to get to the truth. I can't afford to make any more mistakes now. Mr. Madden Guard. I know why you know Mr. De Killer. It's because you're a hero of justice. If I didn't have to spend like five minutes getting back to this point, I would pick it. But you're his client. Since you're the one who set up that camera, that means you knew. You know exactly what was going to happen in that room. So how? How would you know something like that? It's because you're his client. That's why. You hired Shelly D. Killer to assassinate Mr. Juan Carita. The real mastermind behind this whole murder is... You, Madden Guard. Am I not going to get a single psych lock broken from this? I've given, like, three pieces of evidence. <sighs> and here I was, trying to be a good boy for you, dude. I thought if you didn't know, you'd be able to do your job without feeling bad. Well, that's what I thought, anyway. Mr. and Guard, you really did hire... Hold on a sec. I'm gonna consult myself, okay? <laughs> I thought he was gonna cut... He was gonna consult the, uh, the, the assassin and have him come do a hit on Mr. Phoenix Wright. Consult myself? Well, I guess it's probably about time anyway. About time for what? I think it's time for you to meet him now, Mr. Lawyer Dude. Oh, okay, there go all the locks. Oh. Okay. We've got Mr. Badman here. How did you get that drink in here? How do you do, Mr. Lawyer? I'm Matt in guard. Yeah, yeah, this is the bad man here. You can tell because he's got a scary stare and he's got the scratch marks on his face that he covers with his cool piece of hair, dude. Oh, we got some new music, too. Well done, Mr. Wright. I bet it wasn't easy to gather as much information as you have. You really? So you're Shelly the Killer's client? You didn't really think I would dirty my own hands in this, did you? What do you mean? 
and that woman. Adrian Andrews was quite brave herself. Trying to stick the crime on me, I didn't think she had it in her. But all I care about is that Juan is dead. Isn't that right, Mr. Lawyer? Th that's You're lying when it's terrible. It's way past your bedtime, little girl. Go on and let us grown-ups talk about more adult things. But why? Why did you hide the video camera and... A weakling soon believes the word of others. Just like that pathetic Adrian. He knew about Miss Andrews' secret? But I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone, least of all assassins. What? Oh, come now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. They turn their clients into cash cows by holding the sinful deeds over their heads. And a superstar like me, how much do you think I'm worth? Care to guess? And, and that's why... Yes, that's where the video comes in. It's got his face in the crime scene recorded on it. Preserved for all time. With that, I can keep him at bay. And even blackmail him if I want. That's right, that video is my insurance. Isn't that what they call it, Mr. Wright? Why would you do something so wrong? Well, because I'm a bad man. Because I'm a grown-up and I can. <laughs> Good enough of an answer for you, little girl. Why? Why would you kill Mr. Karita? Because he was about to sling so much dung under my beautiful public image. Scandals are a little annoying, aren't they? This is all because of that press conference, isn't it? If Mr. Karita had been able to give it, then Mr. Ingard's secret would have... Ah, well, that's what we call taking advantage of the situation, you know? I had no interest in doing it, really. But bit by bit, it crept up on me. And then the situation just presented itself perfectly. How beautiful, I thought. And that's... That's how Mr. Karita ended up dead. Let me tell you something. I'm not like Adrian. I don't depend on anyone. People are simply things to be used. Used and thrown away. Put on a sweet, innocent face and people will swallow anything you feed them. Adrian fell for it. The assassin too. Oh, and how can I forget? Even you fell for it, Mr. Lawyer. Everyone all working their butts off for me, Matt and Guard. Ah, oh, did that leave you speechless? What a shame. What's wrong, Mr. Lawyer? You're awfully quiet. How could I have been so deceived by you all this time? When we first met, I asked if you had killed Juan Carita. And you answered very clearly that you hadn't killed anyone. Hey, now, I never told you any lies. The person who did the killing was that D-killer guy, right? All I'm guilty of is taking a catnap in my room. You, you, you killed Mr. Karita! Ha 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 ha! I dare you to say that in court tomorrow. Ah, uh, oh, but too bad you can't. You're my lawyer after all, aren't you? You could always drop my case and refuse to represent me. How does that sound? Ah, oh, but you can't, can you? That would be the one thing you absolutely can't do. Mystic Maya! You wouldn't want a testy killer. He's a man of his word, or so I hear. You could end up getting a certain friend of yours rubbed out if you lose. You scoundrel! So, if I were you, Mr. Wright... Squire, I think I would give it my all tomorrow. Remember, everyone likes a happy win-win resolution. I... I'll get you for this. That's such a cliche phrase. One said something just like that, if memory serves. Of course, well... We all know how well things turned out for him, don't we? <laughs> Good night, Mr. Lawyer. Maya, Maya, what am I supposed to do? And now, now you finally found it. 
the starting line of this case. Edgeworth, I don't care for the horrid atmosphere here. Let's return to the precinct. That, wow, that was quick. We, we just, like, leaped. Well, Mr. Wright, what are you going to do? Do you plan on changing your strategy? No! We can't do that! That's right. He's holding Maya hostage. What... What should I do? That's not something I can answer for you. Mr. Edgeworth! Right. Only you can decide what to go from here. One year ago, at that time, I truly didn't understand what a prosecutor was. And that is why I had to leave the prosecutor's office. I felt that I couldn't stand in a court of law until I knew what a prosecutor really was. And now, Mr. Wright, it's your turn. My turn? What is this thing called a lawyer? What can you do as one? You must find the answer, and you must find it on your own. Uh, why? Madengard, I'm a lawyer, but to fight for someone who is clearly a killer. Madengard, that man is really, ah! It doesn't matter who, every person deserves a proper defense and a fair trial. Isn't that the basis of our judicial system? Proper defense? But what exactly is that? Is it where a lawyer forcibly and blindly gets an acquittal through shouting and trickery? <sighs> Ironic that you, of all people, should say such a thing. Isn't that exactly how you fought for your clients up until now? Ugh. Well, uh, that may be true, but uh, that's... That's because I believed my clients to be innocent from the bottom of my heart. But if I were to get in guard and acquittal, that... that isn't a proper defense at all. I became a lawyer because I thought... I thought I could save people who were suffering and in pain. But when I look at this mess we're in, I can't even protect the person closest to me. Even if I win the case, I still lose in the end. I just don't know what to do. Right. But you get a hold of yourself. You have it all wrong. Huh? We aren't some sort of heroes. We're only human, you and I. You want to save someone? That's something easier said than done, wouldn't you say? Th that's... You are a defense attorney. You can't run away from that. You can only fight. That's all you can do. Why fight? People like you and Francesca von Karma are always using all you have to pin me down. You fight to the very end, even when you know the truth is not with you. But I'm not like you. I can't fight for a false verdict for a man I clearly know to be guilty. Francesca. She fights for herself. The only thing she fights for is her perfect win record, which she doesn't have anymore because I made her lose. That's all. And? Isn't that the same as you? Isn't that why you ran away a year ago? Because your precious win record was destroyed? You're so petty. I see. Now I understand why you despise me so. However, you are mistaken. What do you... Thanks to you, when you sealed off my path to a perfect win record, I began to realize the error of my ways. I realized that things such as a perfect record were meaningless. What? I don't believe you. Are you saying that's why you left the prosecutor's office? But then, why? Why are you here now? The answer to that is something you will find out on your own. Because, you know, the, like the path is more important than the destination or something. I have faith you'll see it before the verdict is read tomorrow. But if you can't, then you will be powerless to change the ending of the story. Oh, well, march or march. Mr. Nick, the transceiver. I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Now then, Mr. Attorney, do you wager you can obtain an acquittal tomorrow? 
My, my, what is the matter, Mr. Attorney? I don't sense your usual anger this time. Tell me, please, why are you holding me a hostage for Mr. In Guard's sake? Why are you, why are you doing this for that cold-blooded killer? Right. Please don't misunderstand things. He is my client. Don't toy with me. A man who hires an assassin is just as much of a killer himself. I believe you are asking me for a reason as to why I am doing what I am. Yeah? This is what I like to call my aftercare. What the heck is aftercare? My name carries a certain amount of honor and dignity, Mr. Attorney. I take great care to ensure that no suspicion falls upon my clients for my handiwork. That is what is called client relations, and it is part of an assassin's duty. An assassin's duty? We were unlucky this time, and my client was arrested as a suspect. As a result, I did what I had to do to enlist your help, Mr. Attorney, and to ensure that you would do everything in your power to the very end. What is your name? I believe I told you once before, however. You did, but my name is D-Killer. Shelly D-Killer. You're Shelly D-Killer? Please keep in mind, you do not have much time to maneuver with me. Or much space. As a D-Killer, I always finish what I set out to do. If you fail to keep up your end of the bargain... Mayor! It would be my duty as an assassin to see that she receives a nice long nap. Ah, no! Now then, if you'll excuse me... If someone were to trace this signal back to me, it would be quite troublesome. Mystic Mayor! Mystic Mayor! I... I don't know what to say. Edgeworth, hmm? Did you hear that? At the end of that transmission. Huh? Oh, that. It sounded like a cat. A cat? It can't be that cat, can it? What is it? I think I know where Shelly the Killer is holding Maya hostage. Edgeworth, have all police units head for in guard mansion immediately. All right. You hurry over as well, then. Don't lose hope yet, Pearls. The fight has only just begun. Yeah. All right, time to move. Uh, but we can't immediately move over? No, no, we don't want to hear anybody's. Do you want to talk to Adrian Andrews? I guess a little, little less tense. We're going to make a stop here first. Do we have to head back to our office first? No, actually, I didn't mean to click that again. Dang it. Hold on.